हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इज द टेक्निक यूज्ड इन मोस्ट ऑफ द कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम रेडियो कम्युनिकेशन एंड लाइन कम्युनिकेशन सो मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इज यूज्ड इन मोस्ट ऑफ द कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम रेडियो कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम एंड लाइन कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम इन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग मोर देन वन सिग्नल इज ट्रांसमिटेड थ्रू ए सिंगल चैनल देर फोर वी कैन से मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग हेल्प्स इन साइमलटेनियस ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ मल्टीपल मैसेज ओवर सिंगल चैनल इन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग मोर देन वन सिग्नल इज ट्रांसमिटेड थ्रू ए सिंगल चैनल सो इफ यू ट्रांसमिट मोर देन वन सिग्नल विच मीन्स मल्टीपल सिग्नल ओवर ए सिंगल चैनल द प्रोसेस इज नोन एज मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग हेल्प्स इन साइमलटेनियस ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ मल्टीपल मैसेज ओवर ए सिंगल चैनल सो वी आर ट्रांसमिटिंग मल्टीपल मैसेज साइमलटेनियसली साइमलटेनियसली अट ए टाइम ओवर ए सिंगल चैनल इन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग helps in maximum utilization of the available bandwidth of the system and also it makes the system economical multiplexing helps in maximum utilization of available bandwidth of the system so it helps in maximum utilization of available bandwidth of the system it also makes the system economical if we say economical which means since we are transmitting multiple signal over a single channel it will make the system economical the multiplexing of signal is possible only through modulation the multiplexing of signal is possible only through the process of modulation so we can say through modulation we can transmit multiple messages over a single channel so for multiplexing we'll be using modulation for example if many people speaks loudly simultaneously then it becomes nearly impossible to understand their conversation due to noise this noise is due to mixing of all the speeches the human ear is not capable of separating these intermingled speeches now for example if we consider if many people speaks loudly simultaneously it becomes nearly impossible to understand their conversation due to noise so this we can easily analyze since many people are speaking loudly simultaneously it will create noise this noise is due to mixing of all the speeches so the human ear is not capable of separating these intermingled speeches so why we will listen to the noise because human ear is not capable of separating these speeches now let us consider audio signal that are coming from 10 different persons if these audio signals are simultaneously transmitted over a channel this signal will mix together and if these signals are received by the receiver then the receiver is not capable of separating this signal into individual signal now if we consider audio signal that are coming from 10 different persons and if these audio signals are simultaneously transmitted over channel then these signals will be mixed together now we are considering 10 different audio signals which are simultaneously transmitted over a channel as it is then these signal will be mixed together if these signals are received by the receiver the receiver is not capable of separating them into individual signals similar to the human ear so to avoid this before transmission over a channel each signal is translated to a different frequency spectrum so that each signal can have different transmission frequency 
So this is done through modulation. So to avoid the mixing of signal before transmission, each signal is translated to a different frequency spectrum. If we say different frequency spectrum, which means each signal is modulated to different frequency spectrum so that each signal can have different transmission frequency. So this is achieved using modulation. In modulation, each signal is translated to higher frequency by using different carrier signal. Then each signal is distinguishable from each other. Now a transmitter, this signal can be transmitted. So using modulation, each signal is translated to high frequency spectrum by different carrier signals. So we'll use different carrier signal for each signal that has to be transmitted. So each signal is translated to high frequency by using different carrier signal. Each signal is distinguishable from each other. Once the signal is translated to high frequency by different carrier signal, then each signal is distinguishable from each other since we are using different carrier signal. Now at transmitter end, these signals can be easily transmitted over a channel. At receiver, different signals can be easily separated because they are at different frequencies. Then these signals can be sent to next stage of receiver for further processing. At receiver end, different signals can be easily separated because they are at different frequencies. Once these signals are separated, these signals can be sent to next stage of receiver for further processing. This is about multiplexing. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.